Okay, I'm going to go to a member admin. The email uh, Catherine I'm responding to is this email from Jane Ellis that she lost her password. So we can see her user ID here. And I'm going to go ahead and log in here. I can search for the user. Search string and pasting in the username from that email and I can choose it it's by login. So here she is, Jane in Seattle. Take a look at it. Now she has an account and I want to look at her subscriptions. And what we see here is that she's a registered user but she's not a subscriber to the premium. And you can see that because of the product. It's a registered user product. And we can go over here, manage products, and look at what are all the products that are in the system. Uh, and the products are different offers. So Bonjour Paris two for one promotion. Some of them are different promotions. But registered user, this is just means that they're registered on the site so they can um, post um, comments to articles and they can participate in the discussion board and you see it's free and it's lifetime so the problem is that she is in the system and she is registered but she's on a paid pro on, a, on a free program with a free registration so I'm going to reply to her We generally err on the side of being generous. They can see in the email I sent to the person earlier who was having problems with payment. I'm just going to extend his his uh, membership for assuming that he's going to send in the check. And, you know, it, it, if you're doing it, it's good to make a note to yourself that you're going to on your calendar that you're going to check uh, with me in a month to make sure that you got the check. But when I when I get a check, I'll usually just well, I, whenever I get a check from, I'll, I'll send you an email saying I received this check from this person. So. You can just put a note on the calendar that if you haven't received it from me, you can just investigate. So always read your email. Obviously, you know that. Yes, you're registered, but according to our records, you are not a premium subscriber, so you. Dwight, here's his account, and then 
again we go to user payments and subscriptions and story owner so it looks like he that's that's a product which we is usually just for people who are contributors but let's put him in here as a uh, annual membership we'll go from July to the Usually I'll add a few days just as a courtesy manual payment. The manual payment amount, I think he's probably paying this, but sometimes people who have been subscribers for a long time, they'll just uh, pay a, I think, $19.95. So we'll go ahead and I'll add this. Member information is updated and I can check that and see, okay, he is now a subscriber. So he should have full access to that additional article. I'm going to send him an email. See, here's the one paid subscriber from today. So that's that's, uh, that's that's that person. So that's it. I'll try and do these screencasts periodically, just as a part of our training. And if you have something that you want to know how to do, you can just drop me an email, and I'll try and get through screencast as soon as possible.